As so many of us are these days, I'm really curious to know whether or not aliens exist. So last night I did a little bit of research using four artificial intelligence chatbots, and here's what I came up with. Quantifying the odds of extraterrestrial life is challenging, but scientists have developed frameworks to estimate the likelihood, most notably the Drake Equation. This equation, formulated by astrophysicist Frank Drake in 1961, attempts to estimate the number of active, communicative extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy. The equation consists of seven variables that we multiply together to get the potential number of active, communicative extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy. So here's what I came up with. First, let's start with the results from ChatGPT. The first variable, average rate of star formation in our galaxy per year. They listed it as two. Fraction of stars with planetary systems, they listed at 0.75. Average number of planets per star with planets that could support life, 0.2. Fraction of those planets where life actually develops, 0.5. Fraction of life-bearing planets where intelligent life emerges, 0.1. Fraction of intelligent life planets that develop detectable technology, 0.2. Average lifetime of a communicating civilization in years, 10,000. If we take those seven variables and multiply them together, we get a result of 30, which is the number of civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy we could potentially detect. Now let's look at Grok. Grok's equation looks like this. Two times 0 0.8 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.01 times 0 0.1 times 1,000 gives us a result of 0 0.032, which is obviously a small number, but is not zero. Now let's move on to Google Gemini. Their equation looks like this. 1.5 times 0 0.9 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.01 times 0 0.1 times 10,000 gives us a result of 5.4 civilizations in the Milky Way we could potentially detect. So what do you think? Is everything looking good so far? Eh. For those of you who are paying attention, Google Gemini has made a mistake. I did the calculations on a spreadsheet and they do not add up. As you can see here, the number of civilizations is not 5.4. It should be 0 0.54 civilizations. I've done the math about five or 10 times because I was so confused. There's no way that AI could make a mistake, right? So I went back to Google Gemini and I typed in, your calculation is incorrect. And interestingly enough, uh, Gemini actually owned up to that mistake. You are absolutely right to call me out on that. My apologies. I made a calculation error. Let's correct it. We are at such a crazy time in history where everybody's just going to take AI's word as the truth. And Google Gemini has made a giant mistake in my mind. I don't know how that could even happen with this large language model. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd point that out before we move on to the next AI chatbot. And finally, let's look at DeepSeek. Their results look like this. 1.5 times 0 0.9 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 times 1,000 gives us a result of 0 0.27 which is a small number, but not zero. So I wanted to give you a little bit of feedback on these four AI chatbots as I was able to compare them side by side. Uh, ChatGPT was 
a little bit hard to deal with as they just wanted to give me ranges of numbers instead of an actual number. They gave me a bunch of ranges. I had to ask it multiple times to not give me ranges and it finally did come up with an answer, but it was a little bit challenging to do so. Grok was uh, pretty easy to work with. There were two times when I asked it to calculate the Drake equation and it kind of gave me like an error, like I had to ask it again. Um, that happened twice, but no big deal. So Google Gemini gave me a few problems. First, I asked it to calculate the Drake equation and it gave me a bunch of words, but didn't calculate the equation. So then I said, give me a number and it gave me more words, still didn't calculate the equation. So then I said, calculate the Drake equation using estimates. And finally, then it gave me an equation with numbers. DeepSeek, I uh, didn't really have any problems with it, but it was probably the slowest of the four engines. Uh, it took a little bit of analyzing and thinking before it actually spit out information. But other than that, I thought it worked pretty great. Anyway, as you can tell, the footage I'm using is uh, my drone, my DJI Mini 3 flying around my property in Blanca, Colorado at the foot of Mount Blanca as the sun sets in the middle of January. It's kind of my new little toy that I got for Christmas. If you're not familiar with this area, just around the corner from me is the UFO Watchtower, which is kind of near the Great Sand Dunes National Park. I've never been there, but apparently because the skies are so dark here, apparently it's uh, fairly common to see UAPs in the area, which I hope to experience one of these days. But that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We will see you next time.